ورتل القرآن ترتيلا السلام عليكم In this lesson, we will be covering the different branches of mud asli. Our learning objectives are Number one, to know the different branches of mud asli. Number two, to know a brief definition of each branch of mud asli. And finally, to recognize basic examples of each mud branch. As we mentioned in the last video, there are two main types of mud. The natural mud, which is known as mud asli, and the secondary mud, which is known as mud fari'i. In the next coming lessons, we will be focusing on different branches of mud asli. Mud asli consists of five branches. Number one, mud badal. Number two, mud iwad. Number three, mud sila sugra. Number four, huruf muqatta'at. And number five, mud tamkeen. Mud asli is a word containing a huruf mud letter which is not followed by a hamza or a sakoon. And sometimes it is also known as mud tabi'i. So, first example is an alif preceded by a fata, katibun. Second example is a wow preceded by a damma, nu. And the third example is a ya preceded by a kasra, sagirun. The first branch, madbadal, it means exchange elongation. So when a hamza comes before a huruf mud letter. Example, adama, utu, imanan. Number two, mud iwad. It means substitute elongation. When a fatatain is substituted with an elongated alif when stopping on that word. For example, alima, hakima. When put together, it would be aliman, hakima. Number three, mad sila sugra. It means smaller connective elongation. It occurs when a word ends with the pronoun ha, which has a damma or a kasra. For example, la'allahu wa ummihi. Number four, huruf muqatta'at, which means disjointed letters. They will appear at the beginning of certain surahs. For example, ta'ha. Number five, mad tamkeen, which means confirming elongation. This is where a ya is preceded with a ya kasra or a wow is preceded with a wow damma. For example, da wudu illiyina. So to summarize, mud consists of two branches, mud asli and mud fari'i. We have just looked at the five branches of mud asli. Number one, mud badal, which means exchange elongation. Number two, mud iwad, which means substitute elongation. Number three, mud sila sugra which means smaller connective elongation. Number four, huruf muqatta'at, which means disjointed letters. And number five, mad tamqeen, which means confirming elongation. Now you may think there are too many rules to remember, but this is just an introduction. We will go in more detail on each individual rule in later videos. We just want you to have some idea of what these muds are. 
A lot of the content will be repeated to make sure you won't forget. So what have we learned in this lesson? We know the five branches of Mad Asli. We know a brief definition of each branch of Mad Asli. And we can recognise the basic examples of each Mad branch. Hope you have benefited from this lesson. Keep seeking knowledge. Ma'assalama. Oh.